Good morrow, my dear friends, it's new day fulfilled of new possibilities and new opportunities and we are gonna watch Dave Chappelle video. I'm so glad to see you here, you, yes, and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and I started to learn English two years ago and I have been learning it for two years and uh, I want to improve it through comedy. One year, one year ago I tried to listen Dave Chappelle and it was really super hard, I didn't understand even why one word of him because his accent is so hard but right now I want to make it better I understand that maybe I had a progress and I can understand this african-american speech he's not african-american or he is uh, some people think that he is some people that he is not but okay let's uh, learn about video why african-americans love B bill clinton it is about politician things and i want to learn more about politician things in america i learned that uh, you have three branches like a branch of exec one moment i wrote it on my thing where is it where is it where is it uh, three branches executive one one more from house of uh, of, uh, of, of, of of one moment legislative branch one and uh, executive branch with president second and uh, also you have the senate and the house of the president representatives uh, it is for legislative branch yes and also i am a bill and uh, i'm on the hill for uh, something i forgot i forgot this american rhymes okay we are here mayor had a little lamp let's go watching this uh, video together maybe i will understand maybe will not but uh, if you want you can uh, Help me in the comment section below to understand it better. Let's go. I would just say it. But I would just say it. But there's a reason for that. It matters more for that. It matters more. Black people see, see even when I vote, right? Which I don't. But but <laughs> but even when I like think about like who I would vote for. One moment I will increase volume for you specifically that you can hear it better, okay? I would just say it. But there's a reason for that. It matters more for that. It matters more. Black people see, see even when I vote, right? Which I don't. But, but, <laughs> but even when I like think about like who I would vote for, right? I don't even look at their political policies. I just look at their character. Ah, oh, guys, I started to understand it better, really. 20 seconds and I understood it fully, almost. He was speaking about voting process and uh, if uh, he would... Uh, if he would do voting for president or election, then he will look at character of the person, not at his policies that he will do. And it's a smart thing, because it is all about mindset of person. Yes, you can write you can write anything in in a policies. You can write that you will leak somebody's asses uh, three times a day before, like, uh, some, some things. And uh, you can write anything in... Uh, uh, policies but about character you should write uh, like uh, uh, you you sh you can't write character you can build it and building it is so hard it is mindset creation and uh, to create mindset need to do things over and over again for a long period of time maybe four five years like start today and continue doing small Choices, small habits, small improvements. Okay. You know what I'm saying now? You gotta read. No, I'm serious. You gotta read between the lines. Like, you know, you look at Clinton, and black people like Clinton, because we've seen him on a campaign. That's all one thing on a campaign trail. He, he actually just picked a black baby up and kissed him. Come here, little nigger baby. Mwah! Just kiss him. <laughs> Funny. I said, mm. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Listen again. Pick the black baby up and kiss him. Come here, little nigger baby. <laughs> Come here, little black nigger baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's listen again. I said, mm -hmm. I like that. He did not hesitate or nothing. You see, George Bush Jr., he be that.
Like, say, I'd never vote for George Bush Jr., but I don't know George Bush Jr.'s politics. The only thing I know about George Bush Jr. is that that guy sniffed cocaine. That's right. Now, listen, we cannot have that shit in the White House. That might be fine for a mayor, but God damn it, not in the White House. I didn't understand it uh, correctly because uh, I don't know facts about George Bush, but I want to learn it. The stakes are too high in the White House. Can't have no coke head president. Mm -mm. He be selling nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars and shit. Nuclear secrets for twenty, thirty dollars. And uh, okay. He'll be in meetings embarrassing America. Come on. Sign a treaty, baby. I suck your dick. Like what the He's speaking maybe so much truthfulness and uh, so with uh, honest opinion of people, of citizens. Like he's speaking what uh, nobody can speak and or can speak, but it is kind of uh, call a Voldemort in a Harry Potter world when you say you know who, yes? Uh, Mr. President! That is not how we do business here, sir. Stop sucking the ambassador's dick. No, let him finish. Let him finish. Okay. I understand it. I'm so I so like it. Really, I see progress. One year ago, I cannot, I could not understand it, and I understand right now. And I really believe now that learning is real works, and. Uh, Working works. It it works, and uh, you you see, I understand some things, and I see like one year ago I didn't understand even one word that he sp spoke, and right now I understand. Maybe in one year I will understand much bigger. Yes, nice, amazing. I will sign the treaty. There will be peace in Israel finally. I'd vote for Clinton again if I could. At least it's always been. Now again, I'm not looking at his politics. Don't know what his politics are. I'm just looking at his behavior. I understand that kind of behavior. I know a lot of dudes with them shortcomings. Weed smoking fornicators. There's a lot of them. Weed smoking fornicators. What is fornicators? One moment. Fornicators. Ah, it is a kind of whore. Cre In Russian language, it is bludniki. It means uh, when you do kind of uh, deals with girls, with hoes, with whores, with. Uh, not like a horse, like a horse. <laughs> Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Okay. I mean, come on now. Let's let's be honest. Let's let's be honest. Bill Clinton was not the first president to do what he did. Now, now let's just let's just, let's, let's think back for a minute. Remember a guy named named Kennedy, John F. Kennedy. Remember him? He fucked Marilyn Monroe. Matter of fact, him and his brother Bobby fucked Marilyn Monroe. And history doesn't talk about that much. You know why history doesn't talk about that much? Because those two pages in history are stuck together. <laughs> they, they was getting it on. Stuck together means that they are like, a, how to say it, like our chords, vocal chords, when we do these type of sounds, they are stuck and compressed. They were getting it on. I seen the tapes. Remember the tapes she'd be singing on there? She just party, stressing them out. Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Bitch, my family's here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice, hilarious. I didn't find that he's so hilarious uh, time before. I. Uh, 
I thought that he is kind of, oh jeez, I don't want to listen to him before, before, because I didn't understand his language right now, I understand every word, almost. Clinton did the same thing, but he didn't do it like that, because it's the year 2000, he's busier than Kennedy was, he's a busy man. Clinton did that kind of thing the way busy men do it. You know what busy men do? They fuck who's close to them. <laughs> I can tell that's what Clinton was up to. Look like just In Russia, we have proverb or saying that uh, you, if you punch someone who is closer to you, then all enemies will uh, will scared of you. Will be scared. Let's listen again. They fuck who's close to them. <laughs> I can tell that's what Clinton was up to. Look like he just stuck his head out the office door and shit. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you, you, come here, come here. Come here. I made my penis up for my 3.30, come on. Oh boy. <laughs> He's probably looking at Kennedy's picture and shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do it correct, General. And then to top it off, he lied, which I thought was just, I thought that was special. I did, man. I don't know how he did. I've been accused of having sex with a girl I did not have sex with before. And let me tell you something, that shit is infuriating. <laughs> you ever go through that, dude? You know, it'll make you crazy. You be screaming at your best friends. I didn't touch that bitch, nigga, I'll kill you. Fuck you, nigga, I'll kill you. Please believe me. Please believe me. <laughs> but Clinton didn't do it like that, did he? And Clint came out of the press conference all relaxed, his shoulders all relaxed, he's in all this trouble. It looked like he just got done fucking or something. Oh. I, I have an idea right now in my mind, it is only for fun, but uh, it is a funny idea. I want to be a president for one day or for a week to see how it looks like. But not the president of Russia, president of America. <laughs> I don't know, I have this thoughts or a thought right now, like, maybe. But I understand that only American can become, and only, like, Native American. I'm... It is kind of unachievable thing, only if you will go to this place and will try to someone to make constitution work for you and do something changing, and then maybe I can become a president there, yes? But it is funny, a funny thing that uh, snapped in my mind right now. Listen, let me tell you something, America. I don't think you heard me the first time. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Nowinski. What does this sign mean? Is it uh, like... Uh, he was uh, lying or he was doing drugs, co cocaine. Everybody knows what that finger smell like. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. We all watch. We was disgusted, but we kept watching the news. I know I did. I, I was taping it. <laughs> See, I'd be at the crib like, baby, turn the lights off. The news is coming on. Turn the lights off. News coming on. It means that uh, let's do this uh, privately and secretly, and I will tape it. Tape it. Taping means that you will roll it on your uh, specific tape, cassette, video recorder, VHC. <laughs> Every week on 60 Minutes was a different girl accusing Clinton. Remember Kathleen Willie came out? She was upset. Jesus, I need to end or at least to start this book. I need to end this book. And I bought it and I didn't start because... I, I started but it was kind of hard to me to understand. Maybe time is now to learn it. How to show you this. 112263, it is Stephen King. It is, yes, maybe it is not super politician, but it is with some facts, uh, maybe, and I will understand it. It will be a good start to learn about, uh, about America a bit.
need to start it. Yes, today. Today I do this. After maybe one... No, today I will shoot video for my Russian channel. Okay, after 3 p.m. of uh, of Moscow time I will do this. The president called me into his office. He began massaging my breast slowly. I'm sorry. And then he placed my hand on his genitals. Genitals. Ed Bradley was shocked. On his <gasps> genitals. Was he aroused? <laughs> was he aroused? Aroused means that uh, erection, yes? Aroused. Yes. Evoking. Like a voki of a spiritual, <laughs> spiritual creature, element, element of harmony. The home, like, yeah, was he aroused? Or... <laughs> and then Ed Bradley looked right in the camera. He said, "Don't bust that nut yet. We'll be right back." <laughs> okay. Nice, interesting, so funny, hilarious, uh, and many words to describe it. And guys, I'm so glad that my English level of this thing is improved. Really. A lot. Thank you a lot for watching this video. I'm so glad that you joined to me with this journey. And uh, I feel like it is my last words and I will be right now in a, in a specific place. Like, uh, rest in peace, you will have this... Uh, blog of uh, Igor from 2019 to 2020 this graveyard you will find <laughs> like it is cemetery and uh, <laughs> like uh, yes everything is fine everything is good my English is improved and uh, I know that I can go further I can learn more about politics I I am ready to do this because before I didn't have like a preparation uh, vocabulary, maybe understanding of accent of even of American, uh, like American black people accent, because it's so hard, really. They speak so like uh, three accents. I mentioned it before. Cockney of British, it is hard. New Zealand accent, it is really Jesus Christ what, uh, what they speak, I don't know. And uh, th it is African-American. Three languages, three accents, and other things are easy, really, for everybody who is watching. Maybe after one year I will say, ah, it is all easy, it is uh, easy, easy, but Irish accent, it is, yes, it is another thing. Okay, thank you a lot for watching, have a wonderful day, and uh, improve Saldele, and learn new things.